What's up guys and welcome back to another Fortnite Creative tutorial and today how to add XP to your Fortnite Creative maps. First I'll go through how to actually add XP to your maps then I'll explain how Epic allocates XP to your maps. The only device you'll need to actually add XP is the Accolade device. There's a lot of settings you can change in this I'll just run through some of them and what they mean. Name and description is text that can show up when a player gets awarded XP. XP award is the amount of XP a player gets. This will be small, large, medium. This is also in comparison to other XP amounts in your map. Splash size, what shows, like large shows text, XP and the icon, and small just shows the XP. Icon, you can set a little image icon that shows up next to the XP award, only if you have it set to large though. Triggering player only, this is self-explanatory. Now, these are only really the important settings, and you can change them to your liking. Now there is other settings, but they're not as important as the ones I've just listed. Now, how to actually award XP to players in your map, and I'll give examples of different ways to do it. There's a lot of different ways you can award XP, like after a certain amount of time, or picking up a coin like in a death run, and I'll show how to make these examples. Firstly, after a certain amount of time. Place down a timer device and change all the settings you want, like duration, text, name, stuff like that. But once you've done that, go to events in the timer device, and put on success send event to the accolade device to award. Next how to add XP like death runs. To do this all you need to do is place down a collectible object then in events put on collected send event to the accolade device award. As you can tell this is a pretty easy thing to do. All you need to do is for something like an elimination manager all you have to do is go to events and put on player eliminated send event to. So mainly it's just from the events for a player interacting with the device to send to the accolade device to award XP. Next, how players actually can gain XP from your maps. Now, you can only gain XP from your maps when your map is published and Epic can control whether or not you can still gain XP, they can turn it off or on and even if Epic turns on XP in your map, it can still get disabled so be careful with that. Once you publish a map, Epic will send an email with all of your maps with accolade devices and the email will say whether the XP is collaborating or awarding XP. If it says collaborating in the email, that means that there's currently no XP being awarded in your maps. And Epic can send you reasons to why it's still calibrating. Some examples are not enough players or things like that. But like I said before, even if you've done this, the XP getting awarded in your map can still be disabled by Epic, causing your map to die or to lose a lot of its player base. So, I wouldn't rely on large amount of XP getting given out in your maps to keep it alive. Now, if you want to see different types of maps you can make to put XP into them, click the video on screen now. 